Hello, we are back. But are we back? Hey. Shut up. Hey. Stop. Or are we simply okay? Still here. Hey. Don't move. <laughs> Oh, we need to get groovy in. I will. Music. Buckle music. Put. Buckle. We will start. We will. In about three minutes. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Can't be downloaded. The bitch. <laughs> Can you hear? What, what what can you hear? Hear... You... Why is it so difficult to find a dragonborn picture or female? Oh, you want, you want a dragon female. picture? I got you, bro. Female one, just a... It's a nice little... Bronze female dragon. Beautiful little lady. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Do you guys remember at all, just out of curiosity, the conversation that uh, you guys had with Sicily on the uh, rooftop? Uh... She was like, oh! I wish I could go somewhere else that wasn't here. Nah, Jacob, I got you, bro. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. So cool. Did you hear her also lament about um, the mountains and what she wish she could see coming yeah. from the mountains? Yes, it was slightly ominous. Do you know what she said? Do you remember what she said? No. Oh, exactly. not the one thing uh, I didn't down. write down. Well, that's not Dragonborn. I didn't write things. That's a Dragonborn, bro. What the fuck? You know what? You know, I wrote down the story of the... the I didn't write down. Yeah, the, the sky... Sky thing. Sky village. Oh no, the the one from the Babacho, I, I got very... Oh! I remember it was one of them. She also <laughs> talked about the... Uh... Uh, her father, if you remember. Yes. Special dance ties the beast on sky with men. Able to tame the beast by wearing feather coat and dancing. I'm not uh, asking because it matters for the session, I'm asking because of curiosity, because that, uh, that was one of those few, like, night games that we weren't really, like, Super and then nice. there was one part where the lot of there the was the night red died. Told me that the he prefers my original name better. So my name is not Kira. You have another name. I have another name. I apparently have another name, but I don't know what it is. Your name's Bob. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> I mean, you never know. He also looks like a pretty crazy fellow. That white dragonborn. He. Hey, was he a tiefling or dragonborn? I don't know. Why am I not? Tiefling! There we go. Why tiefling? A white, old ass. I can't find the damn. Oh, there we go. Save image. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Nice. No, no, my sensitivity was too high. It was too low just now. You couldn't hear me talk. Oh, we can hear you now. You sound lovely. 
Bitch. Bitch. Uh, let me bring you guys into the map, shall we? E. Let's go. You said uh, he brought something else with him, right? Go. Okay. Oh wow. I expected his house to be nice here. Where's my cup? And you have a a podium for Where's your cup? Yes, we were sitting on a cup. Are you sitting on chairs? Um Oh (laughs) You can just assume it's there, bro. This is you. (laughs) Alright. I'm not gonna go find one for you. <laughs> no, you just assume it's there, man. Just fucking draw one right now. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Um, one second. I want to get the fun thing. The fuck is that? Is that fucking? Oh no. Why? Well, Which is that? Uh, is it silly? You're gonna die. Who? Uh, is the one that's wife, below I, the house. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna imagine the Cecilia is a girl like Sam, bro. It's better that way. You're gonna imagine what? I thought I thought it was a mummy. What the hell? And my Wi-Fi is acting up. Give me a sec. <laughs> Lisa, I want to play. Oh, there we go. Yes, there we go. Should I not? Should I be near it? Cause I I I went all of it. Yeah, I think you'd be like beside it. Yeah. yeah, come on. There we go. <laughs> Here. <laughs> what? Oh, oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's such good battle music. Oh, oh god. Ah. Okay, so last we left off. After speaking to Mr. Ramirez about the new information that you learned on the demon tech, a lot of information that you picked up from him about the demon caves and all sorts of horrible horror stories of what the coming back of the demons would mean for the next few days. Troubled, worried, but with full intention, you head back to Mr. Uh, you know, Mokaius' home base, knowing that there are some things you're going to have to prepare for, set up, so that this journey to the Good South will at least come with a bit more safe preparation. You guys arrive back at Mr. Mokaius' house, like you call him Mr. Mokaius, it's fine. Upon entry, Mokaius, you notice some friends that were there waiting for you. You had a sensual few hours, followed by the rejoining of your friend, who was currently speaking to Cecily. After a couple of shared feelings, Cecily moved away to go and look at some books, and you began giving out your magical item. While doing so, you came across, or well, you came to what you were told to be the Keep of Narin. Very interesting magical item that was shown to you by Pharaohs, the shop owner. A very special prison-like amulet that upon an action you could touch a target and if willing, the target would have be would be sucked into 
the um, the, the amulet and be imprisoned there. Now, wanting to show this amulet to your friend, you looked at Chungus and said, "Hey, are you willing?" And when he gave you the yes, you put him inside the amulet. Chungus, upon entering the amulet, you were in a room with what looked to be a creature who was kept here the same way that you were put inside. However, this creature was left here for years and years and years. Aeons of life just spent in this place. Not aging, not dying, just stuck here, trapped in this capsule of time. You battled with this creature, as it attacked you, you attacked it, and you almost died, but you managed to just barely, just barely subdue this creature. Almost putting it to rest before you were banned out. Traveling out, you got the sense that however long this creature was trapped inside this amulet was the amount of time that was saved within this amulet. And upon exiting, you were immediately <laughs> refreshed and you gained a long way. However, with Marcaius' command to release whatever was inside the amulet, whatever was inside the amulet was released. And not only did you come back, but so did this ancient being, trapped inside for how many years you know not, but angry, very angry, very hungry. So, we come back to Morkaius' base, as you guys can see in the map. As Chungus... Wait, why has everyone moved? Oh my god. Oh, you were... <laughs> I put you all in a place. You were here. You were here. Okay. So wouldn't Chungus be slightly yeah. closer to the beast? No. Since they came out together? It... It... You guys... Your goal was to release Chungus. And your hand is outstretched. Which means, when he came out, your hand was on his fur touching his person. Nice. The same way that he was placed. Now, of course, this whole thing happened in about 7 seconds for you two. So before you realize this creature, you... <gasps> Chunkus, you wake up. <clears throat> Look at yourself, you realize you're all back to normal. Yeah. Wounds are healed. Hammer's with you. All of your spell slots are back. You look at Marcaius, who is giggling to himself with Kira. And then you hear Sicily scream. All of you turn, and you've rolled initiative for me. This creature is gonna go first. I need to get the stats out because I completely. <clears throat> All right. So, at the top of the round, we're gonna start with the creature. As at this point, you sort of put together that it was called the Keep of Narin for a reason, and you begin to put together this creature might be the Narin from the name of it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put. Uh, Okay. You watch as it stretches his back out. As Cecily, in horror, drops the book she had in her hand. She puts a hand to her mouth. And you, she's just looking up slowly. The creature just extending its large back, arcing its body up. This looks a bit larger than what you saw originally. Um, as if the chains that were once binding it, it gets to stretch. And it does, it stretches. You watch it, as it reaches its arms out, you can see it's like, like uh, the barbs on its back begin to like shake and quiver. As all the tension has finally been released, a large stretch that has been kept for thousands of years. It's gonna make its attacks, silly. Oh no! Toy dice. Die. It's gonna be a plus nine to hit. He's here. 
First attack is a hit. Second attack is a hit. You watch as the creature turns towards you, Chungus, recognizing you. And as you, the three of you turn and look in horror towards this creature, it smiles back, turning back towards Cicely. It raises its two claws and just, just claws down. That is going to be... Uh, Mokai, you're on deck, by the way. That is going to be 9 points of slashing for the first hit. That is going to be... Plus 6... 13 points of slashing for the second hit. What the fuck? 13 for the first one... 9 for the first one... 22... 13... Okay. With that, that is now going to be... You watch as this creature rakes down on Cecily, and you can see its long claws carve into her chest. It's a great reach turn, and that's going to be... Malchias, it is now your turn. You see this creature form up in front of you, and with distance, and you watch it claw hard down on, uh, on Cecily. All you do. I do. Iqbal, do you remember these things, AC? Um, previously it was 18. I'm not sure about now. Yeah. Okay, I you I... I use the Scorching Ray from my circlet of blasting. Okay. So I create three... ...mokes of what basically looks like fireball. And I hurl oh. all three at the creature. So I have to make rolls for all three mokes. Yes, you will. Go ahead and roll. That is a... 24. For the first one. Hits. That's a 7 for the second one. Misses. What? That's a natural 20 for the third one. <laughs> That's a crit. Okay. So go ahead and roll for your first damage, and the second one you double damage. Shit, I think yeah, my d6 is okay. <laughs> okay. First I think this is one of my favorite battle tracks like ever. I've heard a lot, and this is a really good one. Yep. Eight points of fire damage. Eight okay. points of fire damage. Yes. Total. Not for the first hits, right? First, first hit. Cool. Okay. Roll Second hit. Uh, eleven points. No, twenty-two points of fire damage. <laughs> I'm still is it? Yeah. Uh. So 22 plus 30 points of fire damage in total. Okay. Wait, 22 plus? 22 plus 8 in the first roll. 28, 28. 28. Okay. Are you doubling damage or are you. No, no, no 22 plus 8. 30. Okay, 30 points of damage. Uh, just, just to make sure you are doubling damage, I, not real. 11 times 2. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Oh, my pencil is running out. Never mind. Alright. You reach your hand out and holding the ring in your hand, you release the it's ring. Not a ring, it's a circlet. Circlet, sorry. Uh, you hold your, your circlet then. Eh? Reaching, extending your hand out, you just see three large fire rays extend out, crashing with the creature. The first one hits, the second one, it sort of ducks out of the way, but when it ducks out of the way, the next one hits it right in the face. You watch its nose begin to sizzle a little bit. It growls at you, but it's not. That was, it's gonna take its. Is that your turn? Yep. Okay, it's gonna take a legendary oh, action no. to attack her, attack, attack her again. No. Uh. 15 to hit, 15 hit. Sorry, wait, as a, as a bonus action. Uh huh? Oh, yeah, go for it. I. <laughs> And I... And once again, yeah. I form a blade of pure gloom. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. So you cast, uh, what's it called again? Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. Cool. Alright, cool. This blade forms. 
So as it does take his legendary action to hit her, she it hits, and that's going to be a total of uh god. 17 points of damage to Cecily as you watch another rake just come down to her body. She's still up. She's getting hurt a lot. A lot. Uh, She's fine. You see her natural hide like protect her a little bit. <laughs> she is not. Um, I would use the word comfortable in combat. <laughs> but she's holding on for a second. Kira, it is now your turn. Chungus, you're on deck. Or rather, Sicily's on deck for the words, it's you, Chung. Um, Kira, it is your turn. I'm gonna... run... up. Okay. Because Sicily is in 5 meter range, or 5 feet range with a creature, you do get sneak attack for your first hit. If you're gonna attack, I suppose. Yes, I'm gonna attack. Okay. And I'm gonna call Whip it a whore. You're gonna call it a whore? Yeah. <laughs> No, okay. Alright. Seems fair. Fucking prostitute. I take out my two daggers, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, <clears throat> this is my main, main hand attack. Oh no, I wrote really bad. Ten. <laughs> Ten? That is a man. Okay, then my offhand. Ten? Sixteen? That's a misses as well. Sedge. What? How high is his AC? It was 18. I, I rolled fucking high last okay. time. Yeah, you have to roll very high. 18. So. You send your two um, daggers toward the creature's back, knowing that you have the advantage on him because Sicily is sort of engaging it right now. You bring your two daggers down, but they just get locked in place where the barbs are and the hard, hard, rock hard spine. Almost just like catches the uh, your blade, almost like a protective shield, and you pull it back, and you realize you haven't any damage. Is that your turn? You just have a movement and bonus action. Uh. <laughs> bonus action. What are you doing? I'm gonna... <laughs> Why? These, these are a pile of books, right? These things. Yeah, the, no, these are a pile of cushions. These are books. And then the rest are on the side is all bookshelves. These are cushions. Where is he facing now? What's a silly? Towards Cecily. <laughs> Can I attempt? Okay, I'm gonna disengage first. Okay, use a bonus action to disengage. Yeah, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Like... <laughs> move into the cushion and hide. Uh, you can... You can get to... Uh, is, there, is there enough speed for you to get to there? The moment? Where you are, you can get to the cushion. You don't have enough of your turn left. Hide. You you know you, you can just go around it. Yeah, you disengage at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So you can but move. Like, you already spent your bonus action. So you can do it. This and this. This. I'll this. just I'll just stay here there. Alright. Okay. Then, sure. Yeah. Uh, but you can't you can't hide. You can definitely stay there though. You don't have enough of your turn to hide. Does the, does the creature get? Up? No, she disengages well, for a bonus action. Right. So you know. Yeah. It does try to make a swipe at you, but as you disengage, you sort of duck out of the way and you're fine. Um, that'll be your turn. Chungus, it's now your turn. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna burst forward. And I'm gonna use my action and bonus action to attack twice. Fuck it up. Using my Warhammer. That just oh. oh, second one hits? Second one hits. Oh. The first one just missed. Yeah, I know, it's set, set, set. It grinds down on its spine. But no! Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> 9 damage. 9 damage, okay. I'll take. 
Alright, I damage. Uh, bludgeoning, right? Yep. Dope. Dope. Okay. Is that your turn? Yep. I get a shot at it. Okay, cool. Charging oh. up to it, you make your first swipe and misses, but the second one coming back down, you hit it. A little bit amount of damage. The burning has really affected it, but... You feel like you got your partner. That is your turn, help. Next up will be Cecily. For her turn, she's Hello. looked up the creature. Yeah? We can hear you. For Cecily's turn, she looks up at the creature, just horrified. And she looks at her body and she begins to just see the blood. She's gonna back away towards the uh, the the shelf as far as she can get. Uh, she can't move anywhere. She's stuck there. And she's gonna look at uh, Chungus from right behind. You just hear her whispering, just crackling the words, help. You notice there's a cut line down her throat and she's having difficulty. But you see her just say help in a fit of salt. That's gonna be her turn. It is now the creature's turn. Feeling the slam of the hammer behind it, it's gonna look at you and say, ah, yeah. It's gonna make his attack on you. And do. First. On who, me? On you, yes. Okay. First, it's gonna go reckless. Uh, that'll be a. 24 to hit. Definitely hits. Um, it just it uses a reckless attack, which means you will get an advantage on your next roll. Oh, I do, yes. Uh, attack on it. Yes. However, it's going to do damage on you. That is going to be. Sorry, this is a bite attack. I'm running wrong dice. Uh, 2d10. E1 and. What the fuck is my dice? Oh, here, two. Cool. Alright, uh, that's gonna be a total of 13 points of piercing damage as it bites down on your shoulder. Okay. Uh, after buying down, it's gonna shift back again, and it's gonna come once again to go and make a gore attack on you. Do you remember the. This is going to be a. a 19 hit? Yes. I'm assuming 19 hits, right? Yes. Go ahead and roll a DC 14 strength saving throw for me. Twenty. Twenty? Yep. Okay, it's going to do a total of sixteen points of bludgeoning damage on you. Sixteen. Sixteen points of bludgeoning damage. As it crashes its forehead into you, its rock hard forehead, you feel almost skull bit crash into your chest. You place your foot down strong behind you to prevent yourself from falling back, but it racks your body. You can almost feel the rib just snap your body. Hurt like hell. Uh, okay, that's gonna be its turn. I got one HP boys. No, 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 no. I will feed. That's his turn. It is now Mokaius' turn. Kira, you're on deck. I use. That's my action. I use press the digitation. And I kind of sweep around me and I go. In an attempt to turn off all the lights. Turn off all the lights? Yes. You're trying to make the place dim, right? Sorry? You're trying to make the place dim. Either dim or just dark. Why? There are there are a number of candles around, but most of the lighting is also charged from a, a, a terra cell that runs the building or the section of area that you're living. So would there be no way for me to magically turn them off? We can get the candles off and Quite honestly, there's enough in there for me to say that it would be dim. So if I turn off all the candles, it would be dim? It would be dim. In your area, I would say between... Like here, there'd be a bunch of candles here. Uh, as well as here, over here, sorry, and uh, down here. So, what is your range for prestidigitation? Uh, is there a range? Jeez. <laughs> If I use Formaturgy, I have 30 feet, which does a similar effect. 
range is 10 feet. So I would say between you and right beside Chungus right here, and about here, is as much as dim as you get. But anywhere uh, other than what this. If I, what if I use Thomas energy? I can cause flames to flicker, brighten, dim, change color for one minute. With a range of 30 feet. 30 feet? 30 yeah. feet would get you... Yeah, that'd be enough. 30 feet, 1, 5, 10, 20, 20, 20, 30. Yeah, that'd be enough. And I would say between where you are, till about here, and about here, this whole like radius is dim for you. Right anywhere, well. further down, anywhere further down, like where Sicily is or where like Kira is, is not dim anymore. Alright, you kind of hear from behind you, I go... <laughs> and suddenly yeah, the whole place nice. gets dim. Alright. It's my bonus action. Yes. I'm going to summon in the shadow blade in my other hand. Alright. Another one comes out on your left hand. <laughs> you now have two. <clears throat> okay, that is your turn. Are you gonna move? You're gonna move or are you gonna stay there? I'm gonna That will get you out of the dim range. The dim range will end uh Five feet behind you. Oh shit! And can I? Oh. Yeah, you can. You can go back. I'll just say you stop there. Where you are right so now, you're not dim. This area is not dim. No, no. Where you are standing specifically right now, roughly this area here is onward is no longer dim. It ends just past Chungus. So if you're in this square right here, you're still in like a dim lighting. Okay. Here yeah, then. As far as your like your dim lighting goes before it tracks back to like a brighter light. So you're giving there or you wanna go back to where you were? If this is dim then I'm good with being here. Okay. So your turn? So your turn? Yes. Alright, perfect. Kira is your turn. What would you like to do? Um I'm gonna use my bonus action to hide. <laughs> Okay, make a stealth check. Uh, 22. Hell yeah. The creature does not take notice of you. Can okay. I like, can I like shimmy? You can Some shift, photo. but if you move, you are no longer in hiding. You hide where you are, and if you move, you're moving out of hiding. You can't be hidden and moving. Okay. Sense? Okay. So where you are right there, you are hidden. The creature doesn't see you. Can I like peek out a bit and then ask a call out to Cecily? And I ask him, I ask her to like come to where I'm at. Okay, the signal okay. how do you wanna call her? You can you can signal her from where you're hidden. She knows you're there. Yeah I I'm signaling her to okay. how do you wanna signal? Uh, Depending on what you do, it would matter. What she. I signal her to like be quiet, and then I gesture her to come to me. Okay. Um. All right. Is that your turn? Uh, I still have an action, right? You spent your bonus action to hide. I could say you use most of your movement to signal her. Yeah, I'll say you have an action. Oh, uh, I'm that? gonna... Ready an action? Okay. Trigger. What's your ready action? If he... Um... Chungus, you're if he dead. turns, if he turns towards the the pillows, and he's like about to come like into hit. range. Yeah, come into range. And you attack. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will attack. Okay. Okay. So if it comes into range, just make your attack. All right, got it. Is that your turn? Yes. So it's gonna make its next legendary action to turn towards Marcias, seeing as you were the the. Firecaster earlier on <laughs> looks at you and says, Taste. 
just looks at your body, your just your bare chest right now, because you're still wearing only your harness and speedos. So <laughs> just looks at your body <laughs> lying down. This is your flesh, your sweaty flesh. Hungry. Okay. Gonna make his attack on you. Uh, no recharge for that. No recharge. <laughs> I don't think it has any money right now. Uh, it's going to be a fifteen. What to happens hit. to people who don't pay? Sorry. It's gonna be a fifteen to hit. Oh, that just. May I ask you a question? This is your. This is completely decision. I will allow it if you say that you're still wearing the padded armor that you had. Your leather padded armor. I never the one had that I leather gave. padded armor. No, the oh, one that you, I. You don't have. I thought you had. The one that I, I took it. Uh... I'm give it back to you. Oh. Because I have no need for armor. Okay. Oh, you gave it back to me. Okay. So yeah. that means you're using armor, it. right? Okay, dope. Okay. Alright, cool. Got it. Yeah, but because of mage armor, which I basically have like on forever, I my AC ah. is 15. Okay, so did it hit? Wait, no! The ring of protection! My AC is 16. No, it's with me. No, no, you. I gave you the ring of. Oh, regeneration. Yeah. Regeneration. It does okay, not hit. You have protection. You have protection. There you go. Awesome. Okay, Whoa! so the creature looks at you, it's just tasty, and it makes the attack on you, but you... With the protection, you feel it like, like vibrate just gently on your finger. And as it strikes down, you watch as its claw... Touches your skin, but where it touches, you watch your skin just harden. Very kind of tickles. And after the nail goes away, the skin unhardened. Pretty good investment. Now, Indeed. that being said, that's going to be its legendary action, Chungus. It is now your turn. Alright, since I'm at 1 HP, I have no reason to what? stay here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use my action to disengage. Um, around okay. right here. Uh, as a bonus action, I can you use a picture that I sent during on Discord? Uh, I spawned my spiritual weapon over here. My, sp my spear. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, where are you putting it? Discord, Discord. The end. No, where are you putting it? Um, right beside it. Right, 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 right where I was. Right here. Cheer? Yeah. Got it. Okay, there was a spiritual weapon there. I'll, I'll set it up. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Fine. <laughs> You'll see. Alright. Is that your turn? Uh, that's all. <laughs> I've used my bonus action and action. And I want it to be. Wait, hold on. Wait. Wait. 1, 2, 5. 5, 30, oh no, my 35. Yeah, that's all. Next turn. Alright, that is your turn. Now Cecilia's turn. Seeing... Uh... Snakey, seeing you... Here. I can... <laughs> my god. <laughs> seeing you, Kira, I can... Uh... Cecilia towards you. She looks at you and she just nods very gently. She says, You hear just mouth the word please. She just begins moving towards you. She's going to invoke an opportunity attack. Because it has not used the reaction. What? Yeah, it's going to get an opportunity attack. It will still apply when it moves away from you. Um, miss, you miss, miss, miss. <laughs> No. One moment, yeah? Wait, why is she not disengaging or can't, can't she? She can, she does not. Too savage. Oh my fucking god, okay. <laughs> she said nah. Nah, <laughs> NPCs be like. <laughs> oh, building bell. Wait, uh. Nah, don't, 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 don't worry about it, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, I'll get it for you when it's man. Yeah. For now, uh, she moves towards you. And she falls at her knees and she tries to like, like, like hold on to you. It's going to get an opportunity attack. That'll be an 18 to hit that does hit. She will take damage for that hit as the creature claws into her back. Wait. Is he, is he in range? Uh -huh. No, he's not he in range. He's not using that. He is... Attacking from his standpoint. Yeah. Oh. Okay. OBS. Let's see what happened. Uh, 
Seven plus two? Nine. Nine. She takes nine points of damage, leaving her at three HP. You see the claw rake her back, and she falls to her knees. Just barely pe- keeping up, you see blood just pouring from her, from her, her scales. She's going to spend her action to cast Cure Wounds. Half a moment. Okay, cool. She's gonna cast Cure Wounds on herself. Just gonna give her an extra six HP. She looks at you and she just says, "Please, just please kill it." That's gonna be her turn. That is now the creature's turn. He sees Chungus move away. Oh, you bitch! Growling a little bit, but never mind. Looks back towards Malkias. <sighs> You first! It's gonna make us two attacks on you. One of them being a bite, the other being a gore attack. Oh no. The natural one for the bite attack that is going <sighs> to miss. Uh, you watch it bite down and it clamps down so hard one of its teeth it chips a little bit. Um, but the next one is a natural 19. So that should hit. Uh, 19 yeah. plus... 27 to hit. Well, I thought it was plus 9 to hit. You're right. 28. 28, yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. It's going to make its gore attack. Go ahead and make a strength saving throw DC 14. I have advantage on saving throws from the ring All of right. protection. Hmm. Two pretty good. Yeah. First roll is 7. So Second seven. roll is 13 plus 1, 14. Oh! Just nice. two. The creature lunges his head towards you, racking your chest. Just feel your, your chest just hit in you <laughs> as you get hit. That's going to be, however, you're still going to take the damage, which is 12. It's going to be 13 points plus uh, 6, which is 19 points of damage. 19 points of damage. Very well. The creature crashes into your chest and it hurts like hell. Yeah. You almost feel a bit of blood splatter from your mouth. <laughs> Wait, uh, I'm not trying to be a fucking party pooper, but for the ring protection, is it custom? No, it's from the... the it the doesn't say advantage though. Oh fuck, my... Oh shit, they have it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, oh. it's... it's... Plus one bonus to save. Yeah, you yeah, only plus one bonus. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so that means you do fail, right? Yes, I do. So Seven. sorry. My no, bad. it's okay. All right, no worries. Sorry. Thank you for faction. The advantage of saving throws was the was the, another character. <laughs> that, was character. That, was, that was Leopold. With the oh, Leopold. Oh, sure. Yeah. Never mind. As the hit hits you, it hurts like hell. And you try and fight to stay up. You cannot, you are not pro. This creature now will get advantage attacks on you. And you will have disadvantage attacks on it. Our range attacks on you will be at disadvantage as well. So I'm not grappled? Just give me time to set up, bro. You are not hard Oh. Uh, I'm gonna put a little ding ding on you for fun. You put a, a purple. <laughs> You have a purple mark on you. See, see, see. Yeah. Okay, you are not prone. Taking the damage. The creature looks at you and says, "I will feast." That's gonna be its turn. It is now <gasps> Kira's. Chunk is your own deck. Kira, what will you do? Um, I will take out one of my hand eggs. I'm still in cover, right? Technically. <laughs> Uh, you are, you yes, you are not, you're hidden, you're still hidden. You have not okay. paid attention to where you are yet. Or at least try to see where you are. I'm gonna take out my, one of my hand eggs, and I'm gonna <laughs> throw it at you, <laughs> and then hide. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you will... When you're hidden, Just you one. get advantage on the top. Range attacks? 
You do, right? Because technically, he doesn't know where I'm at, right? Yes. Because I'm hidden. <laughs> okay, it's up to you to either make an attack adva with advantage or use sneak attack. That's your choice. Um... You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna poke him. I'm gonna poke him. So I'm just gonna do this one attack with advantage. advantage. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and make your roll. <gasps> Please. Please. Okay, I got a nineteen. Nineteen hits. Nineteen. Nineteen hits. You throw your hand axe and it sticks on its body. But doesn't doesn't she still get sneak attack damage if she's a? Oh yeah, I do. Yes. Video and yeah, extra 26 yeah, damage yeah, yeah. with yeah, yeah. a finesse or range weapon. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would get. Yeah, you would get. Okay. Um. What is Thank it? Thank you. Okay. Uh. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Four. Oh my god. Range uh, of Seven. Seven, seven points of damage? Slashing. Seven slashing? With sneak yes. attack bonus? Oh no. Huh? Was that with sneak attack bonus? Yeah, with sneak attack. Gosh. I rolled really bad. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, you got seven, that's pretty good. Alright, cool. Seven points of damage. I'm gonna hide again. Okay, make your style check. <laughs> seven, right? Are you fucking kidding me? No! Ten. <laughs> Ten? Okay, you think you're pretty hidden. I'm pretty hidden. You think you're pretty you think hidden. Oh fuck. So like boot I, I, I will never actually tell you whether you're hidden or not. It's okay. You never actually know whether. So you, to your best ability, you think you're quite hidden. Uh, Sisley is next to you. Okay, cool. Some points of damage. Is that your turn? Sicily just watching you like lie down. Can I? I don't know. Can I? If I ready, if I ready an attack, that means next turn I won't have a, an action, right? You can't ready an attack after using your action to make your attack roll. Yeah. You have to have an action to ready it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then I. And my turn. All right. Um. Okay. As a legendary reaction, this creature is going to use a sudden howl. The, uh, the howler, or well, the creature rather, utters a sudden, unexpected howl. Each creature within six feet of the, of the creature is aware of it and must succeed a DC 15 sa wisdom saving throw. So go ahead and roll the wisdom saving throw, all of you. Oh. DC 15. I do have advantage on wisdom. Oh, okay. no. On wisdom and charisma. So I'm DC 13. No, 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 I don't know where the wisdom advantage is. It don't matter, bro. DC. Oh, what'd you roll? Um, A 12? Oh, man. Gross. Nine. Nine? Oh, so DC? 13. Uh, first roll, I go 14. Okay, so. Sicily, Malkaias, the two of you shake off the feeling as the creature howls, but Chungus and Kira, this creature releases this horrible howl sound that just shakes your body to your core. You are frightened for one. Every turn you will get to... Every turn, I believe... Oh wait, no. But you are surprised and have disadvantage on saving throws. Hey Salah, what am I saying? Salah, no, yeah, you were frightened for one minute. That's what I thought. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, for the next minute, two of you will be frightened. This advantage on saving Oh two. shit, really? Oh no, okay, never mind. For a second, well... The first message I was like, oh god damn. Okay. No, 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 uh, wait, hold on. Uh, wait anyway. Uh, uh, we have disadvantage as long as it's within our line of sight. Thank you. Uh, you can't actively move towards it, right? Nope. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, there we go. That is the oh, creature's turn. Be... Um, you. I don't think you can make a save after every turn, can you? I don't know, I'm not too sure. Nope, you're fucked. No, you can. People are Wait. fighting with a fuck. No, no, every, oh, every turn you get not. to roll again, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every turn you get to roll. Just have roll, a page on ability checks and attack rolls. Really? While the is source of fear is within line of sight. Yes. How to get rid of fright? No, no, no. It, it, it says here. It says here on my on my thing. Every <laughs> end of your turn, you will re-roll that wisdom save. See if you can reverse the effect. Yeah, because it is the effect of what the creature just did. Yeah. So not okay. only every. Every time you try to gather. Easy to okay. Save it. That'll be Chungus' turn. Huh? You are frightened. Nani? Do you make it? Oh, oh no, it's my turn, is it? Okay. It's not your turn. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I was planning to bless yeah, all of y'all, <laughs> but now since I can't move closer to it, I can only bless um, Marcus at most. Because it's only 30 feet. Um, I could pull you closer. Nah, no, yeah. <laughs> Um. Hmm. All you do? Wait, you can pull me closer? Yeah. Wait, wait. But turn, how yeah. does that work, though? Like. Well, since you can't willingly do it, I have to pass a. Yeah, so do I radiate in action to bless? I think you pull me in. Yeah. Okay. You can. Yeah. All right. Um, I have one health. Do I have any bonus action to heal myself with? Uh, da, 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 da. However, um, it may. I do deal one d six piercing damage to you. Oh. Oh, I will die. You will die. Right, I will die. Oh, he better. He just dies while while he's getting pulled. That was an interesting way to. <laughs> That's like a spell that you use on enemies, but I mean, true. Because if it's away, it's away. Anyway, you got any ideas what to do? Do I heal myself first? I can't fight yes. at all. I could pull Kira. Um, how many can you pull one? I could pull Kira. You can, yeah, you Why? can pull Kira. Why would you want? Why would you want to? I want to get my sneak attack. <laughs> An advantage. But if I my bless can give you all one d four. That's that's solid. What are you gonna do, Jungus? On everything. So do you want your snake attack or do you want one d four? I want my snake attack. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That just left me then. Why don't you bless Mokaius? One person only. Bless at first level gives three people, bro. I don't want to waste oh, it. Yeah, that's why. Right. That's right. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Changi? That's why. I mean, it's up to you, like if you wanna bless. Or you wait one turn. I can't bless. I can't bless. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you can just you know, wait. I mean, I can bless, but I can only bless uh, Marcus for now. I can't go towards him. You, I think, yeah, you can, you can wait lah. Wait a turn. Wait, you're turn. You're ready. Sure. Uh, ready. I'll just cast. You ready or bless for when you are no longer frightened? You do have okay. your spiritual weapon still out, by the way. Yeah, but they'll they'll be attacking with a uh, disadvantage. I have a broken one. I'll just put it here just for now. Uh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I give it a color. Me and my potions, man. I cast Covid at level two. That's sixteen. Nice. Um. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Uh. No, I can't. No, 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 wait, no, wait. Okay, that is your action, I'm guessing? Um, no, yeah, that, that's my action. And I cast some um, shield of faith on. Wait, but then that uses concentration. <laughs> oh, no. No. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm just gonna total it and fuck it. God damn, okay. Yep, make a wisdom saving throw. DC 13. DC 13? Yep. Still. 
It fails. It fails? Is it damage? Is it damage? Yeah, it's pretty damage. Alright, then it takes 1d10. Oh, was it 1d12? Damn! Oh, fuck. 10 damage. 10 damage, nice. Alright. Necrotic. Damn! 1d12. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Very well. Here. Come. You wanna describe it? Um. Hmm? I. God damn it, that's no yeah. light sauce. God damn it. Sauce, how is sauce for doing? Um, I raise my war hammer and I and I shout, "Fear the black sun!" Then I cast to the deal. And then you hear down. All right. The bell is the most important part. Yeah, yeah. That is your turn. Um, that will bring it back to the top of the round. With the creature turn. The creature looks on you on the floor, Makaias. He then looks up towards a very badly wounded Sicily. And the head of reddish hair popping out from behind some of the pillows. <laughs> Use um, pounce. Uh, pounce. Over. It's gonna go sh at least 20 feet straight forward. Uh, it's gonna go. Perfect. It's gonna get right here. Jeez. It pounces right there. And you have to make a DC. No AOO from Marcus. DC so for opportunity. Uh, you do, but you roll a disadvantage because you're pro. Alright. Go ahead and roll, make a DC for. If I advantage because I'm in dim, do I just cancel out all? What's that? Because I'm in dim lighting, I have advantage, and I get disadvantage from being prone. So does it cancel out? Yeah, I should cancel out. Yes, that will cancel out. Yes. I just, just saw my spear. Tech, right? not, not with two swords. Sorry, bro? Just what? No, no, no. I, I just, just saw my spear. Attack, right? You just saw your sprite? I just saw my spear. It's pathetic, bro. Oh, you just saw your <laughs> Couldn't find a better one. It's, it's just one attack, right? Not my yeah, two swords. Yeah, one attack, one attack. Yeah, we have one attack. Right. It was like... Uh, two and, and modifiers? Uh, yes, you do. My spell casting is plus 18. 18? Yeah. Oh god, excuse me. Alright. Uh, 18 just hits. Go ahead. Uh, damn it. Don't let me know. Dice for this. Jesus Christ. 2d8. Seven points of psychic. Seven points of psychic damage. Okay. Uh, got you. Okay. As it lands, Tenning, could you do me the favor of making a DC 14 strength saving throw? Oh, fuck me, I wrote net one. Me and one. We are not to no. cool. Me and one. You are not prone as this creature makes a claw attack on you. Uh, that'll be. What? 20. 26 to hit. <laughs> Assuming that hits. <laughs> With that sound. So oh, yeah, she's supposed to be an advantage. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Going to be. Eleven points, eh? Twelve points of uh, slashing damage. That creature rakes your body on the floor. Sicily just <laughs> just watch you as you crash to the floor. That's going to be its turn, though. Morkaias, it is your turn. No, no. Where are the dim? Where the creature is, it is no longer dim. Where you are is roughly where it ends. Nowhere nearby. Nearby would be between you and Chungus. That is that's like a radius between. Are you we nowhere near the creature? Like nowhere here, it's dim. Is it? No, I would say over here is dim. Here. And this is your door. So through this, the corridor is quite dim. 
Is it dim if I move here? Yes. There's a radius between you and Chungus right now. So that it's a radius, so you get the whole circle. <laughs> Chungus being the mid the middle of the circle. Very well. If I make a range attack. Sorry, first I use my movement to get up from being prone. Okay, so, half movement to get up. Alright, still half, half your movement. Half of it. Yep, and then yeah. and then five feet to move here. And I Am I allowed to throw both my swords or just one? You are allowed to throw You're throwing, you're not proficient, so you're making you're making one throw range attack, I believe. I am proficient in this weapon because it... You know what, fuck it, why not? You can throw both, I will say. But one will be your offhand, so modifier rules apply. Okay, so why not? It'll be fun. Yeah, thank you. So I throw the There you go, bud. <laughs> yeah, baby. That, one is, that is 15. First one is not hit. First one is not hit or hit? That's not even with advantage. Okay, so both miss? Second one. No, the second one. <laughs> okay, make your roll. Second one's a 19. 19 Plus hits. Six. That hit, that definitely hits. Oh god, excuse me, roll damage. Sorry, no, there's no plus 6. But yes, 19 okay. hits anyway. 19 hits, yeah. That's another 9 points of psychic damage. 9 points of psychic damage as the sword Embed hits his chest. Very nice. Okay. By the end of my turn, turn, it just dissipates. Alright. Uh, you still have a bonus action if you want it? As a bonus action, I re-summon one. Okay, you have one in your hand now. That will be your turn. Kira, it is now your turn. You are knocked prone in front of this creature. You no longer have sneak attack. And you are no longer hidden. Oh, you do. It does not give an atom opportunity attack if you stand up in front of it, I believe. So you can use half a moment to get up if you want. Uh, I'll stand up. Okay, you get back up. You have half your movement. Action, bonus action, all you do. Chungus, you're on deck. Uh, I don't have sneak attack. No, you're not. There's no one in range and you are not hidden. And you are not prone in front of this creature, it's engaging you. Mano, Mano. What about what? Sisiri. Sisiri is not engaged in combat with it. She is on the floor with you, trying to get you up. Okay. She is not engaged in melee attack with this creature. Okay. <laughs> By what level cleric see, do you get kill wounds? Huh? What level cleric do you get kill wounds? Level 1. How many spells, spells, spells do you have? 6 in total. I mean, 7 in total. Yes, sorry. 4 for I my check. first, 3 for my... 3 for my second. I'll awesome. just do... Wait, I'm still frightened. Ah. You are still frightened, yes. Oh yeah, speaking of frightened, uh, Morkaius and Chungus, go ahead and make your wisdom- No, no, sorry, uh, Chungus, make your wisdom save. To see if you get out of frightened state. <laughs> Never mind. No, that fails. What will you do, Kira? So, I- I'm gonna disengage. Okay, where will you go? <laughs> 5, 10, 15. I'll just stay here. Okay. 
You get up, disengage, you shift back. Cecily watches you shift away and she says, No, 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 no! <laughs> yeah, well, is that your turn? Oh no! Why are you gonna make that sound, bro? Is that your turn? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Sorry, the previous time you dealt 19 damage to me, right? Yes. <laughs> I need to roll a con save for my concentration. Oh my god, why, why are you gonna guilt trip, you gonna guilt trip Kira, bro? Fuck sick, man. Do I? I pass. It's a what? I got 12. Okay, good, man. Any what to do? Do I roll for Frighten? Yes, at the end of your turn, if you're ending your turn, go ahead and make your next wisdom save. Please, please. Please. Hey, pass and don't don't get like me. I have a plus five to my wisdom and I roll badly. Five. Oh. <laughs> it's not. You realize hey. that although you hear the worried cries of Tilly, and you turn around and you do realize that in her hand she's forming another kill wound spell. That was probably for you. As you step away, you realize that running away from this creature feels a lot better than staying with you. That is your turn. Chungus, it is your turn now. What do you do? Well, there it goes, no, no, that's uh, I, it goes my blessing plan. Uh, give me access to the, my, sh my, my spear, please. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, go for it. Uh, one second. I got you. Right, as a bonus action, I can move it 20 feet. 5, 10, 15. <laughs> I can move it. 20. Alright, that's all you can do. That's my bonus action, my action, uh, I shall... Uh, it can float, right? It can float above? Yeah. So you can put it over Sicily if you want. <gasps> I'll, I'll say it's straight <gasps> right here. Well, I you can! can, you can no, 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 yeah, but yeah. Then if I float, it's not 5 feet above it, bro. Is it not flying in the air right now? It is flying, but then if it's floating can, above, can... right? How big is this thing? Can... How big is this thing? It's a spear, so it's thin and long. It's not a large... No, I mean, like, yeah, how big is the monster? Like this to this. How, how big is the, the monster? monster? Yeah. The monster is large. Okay, so if I put it above Cecily, right? It, if you're worse, Cecily is, you can hit the creature. All right. I'm gonna put cool, it cool, here cool. so that you can see the Cecily. Yeah, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. But imagine it's above her, yeah? Um, hmm. Um, uh, that, that's part of my bonus action, actually. Uh, I can attack it. So, attack with this advantage. Go for it. That's not even gonna hit. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, I think. Um, uh, Alright, as my. Wait, are you guys near me now? Bless! Yeah, um, you can use a bonus action and an action to attack, so. No, 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 no. Uh, spiritual weapon, I can use my bonus action to move 20 feet and attack at the same time. Yeah, it's oh, pretty, wow. it's pretty gay, yeah, it's pretty gay, yeah. Wow, okay, so as you yeah. actually cast Bless. Um, I shall cast my action Bless now, to bless the three of us, Fox Cecilia. Okay, you are now blessed. Remind them what that does, you know. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Plus 1d4 to all of your rolls. Eh, that's it, all of it. Uh, your attack rolls and your saving attack throws. Attack roll or saving throw before a spell ends. Yeah, so Which this, this, this should throw. help us turn in. This should help you get out of this. Yeah, there yes, we go. Yes, yes, this so should help you. So, as you end your turn, yep, and my go turn. ahead and make your wisdom save at advantage. No, 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 no yeah, plus, plus 1d4. Yeah, add your d4. So, I can. I can... You add 1d4, you add 1d4. 1. I can add 1d4. Yes, 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 come on! Yes! Nice! There you go, you remove the frightened aspect of yourself. You are good to go. Wait, so I plus is it at the end or can I move now? Sorry? Can I move? Just at the end. No, it's at the end of your turn. Oh, it's at the end. Okay, 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 okay. You could have moved before, I'm sorry. But you can move towards, so. Alright. That will include your turn. It's gonna use it. No, no, no. It's for uh, for one minute. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Is it concentration? Concentration, correct. Yeah. It is, right? As long okay, as I'm cool. not hit. Yes, okay. correct. Alright. As you cast your spell, it's going to use a legendary action at the end of your turn. You see Sicily cry out for aid towards Kira as the two of you step away. She just turns back slowly towards the creature as the bite comes towards her. Natural 17 to hit, uh, plus 9, but that definitely hits. Her AC is 15. That will be. He did. 
Uh... Alright, Chuggy Chan. Sorry, the... there's way too many, like, different die things for this creature. It's really um... Six... To hear a cry out in pain, her hand reaching towards you, Kira, you see a, a Kira wound spell in her hand. Yes. But as the bite racks down on her, you see the, the huge talent uh, fangs of this creature just sink into her shoulder. And she... <gasps> and she just falls. Conscious. It's gonna make its turn now, top of the round, to attack her twice. Oh, god. First is a miss, second is a hit. Auto crit, she loses two death saves. Yep, she does. She will. Oh, she has to make one right now. Is <laughs> she, she gonna die straight away? Uh, she succeeds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we all fucked up, man. <laughs> we all fucked up. Um, and then for its next thing, it's gonna use pounce. Seeing that it's now on the floor and she's just bleeding out. He looks towards uh, Chungus in the far end and says, ah, "Is yours and this isn't it?" And it just leaps towards you. Let's see if we can. What do you say? Oh. He points towards the. Uh, it gestures towards the the sphere and says, "This is yours, isn't it?" Oh. Uh, Please. Sorry, one second. At least twenty feet. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right. It leaps towards you, landing right here. Go ahead and make a DC 14 strength saving throw. 19. 19 succeeds. You're not, not prone, however, does 19 hit? Yes. Okay, it's gonna make its call attack on you. That'll be 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. Alright, it slashes down on you. It says, I will taste you tonight. That is his turn. Uh, finishing his turn, Morkaius, it is now your turn. Kira, you're up. I go 10, 20, and I bear the dying on her. I put my hand on her temple and I go, oh! Spare the dying. Yep. Mm-hmm. Does that... Does that stabilizes her, way. She's not making that save anymore. Perfect. Got you. But she's still unconscious. Okay. You cast a spell on her, and you see immediately the bleeding wounds just stop bleeding. There's still wounds, but they stop bleeding. And you hear... <coughs> gently. And she... <sighs> exhales. And just... nods unconscious. She is stable. No, no, no longer dying, but she is still at zero HP. Where the hell is Marcaius? Marcaius is here. Okay. Oh, I didn't see him, bro. <laughs> that is your action, I suppose. What is your bonus action? Do you have a bonus action first? Um, bonus action, get the other sword back. Awesome, you have two slots now in your hand. Yeah. Um, okay, that will conclude with, with my remaining 10 feet of movement, I go bloop, bloop. There you go. It is now the end of your turn. Kira. Actually, before you take your turn, it's going to make a legendary action to go uh, Chungus. It's going to roar at me. Gonna bore you. Uh, oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thirty minutes. No. Fuck. All right. Never mind. It misses you. It lunges its head towards you and misses. All right. That will conclude its turn. Uh, its legendary action. Here you are. Can get sneak attack now that it's engaging targets. I have disadvantage. Still. Yeah. You can only roll after. Yep. But at least now you have plus 4, I guess. I mean, plus 1 don't, don't you get advantage when your teammate is in 5 feet range engaging? 
It is engaging oh, me. Is it, is it distracted? I... It is engaging you. Finesse yeah. weapon, right? Fusing your two swords to uh, the dagger. Are you? Due? Yeah, but I don't have advantage. I don't have sneak attack. Okay, then roll it. Advantage roll. Uh, save here. Okay. <laughs> You have to be hit plus 1d4, plus 1d4, plus 1d4. Oh, what's the, what's the 1d4? Did I roll? Yeah, roll after it. I don't think I'm gonna hit. I... Just try. Yeah, 9. This is... You still have your offhand attack? Also... Uh... Offhand is... 19? Yeah, 19 hits. Nice. Oh, okay. Damage. Um, you don't... Would you get sneak attack on this? No, you wouldn't. Your first one was sneak attack. So you wouldn't get it after. Okay, now... Yeah. Damage? Mm. Four. Four points? Oh, okay. So good. Alright. What was the damage? You stab it off him. After stabbing it, it realizes you're there, but it's still focused on this right now. That would be your turn? Still have a bonus action? Yeah. Cool. That'll be my turn. Okay, cool. Um, we're finishing your turn. It is now Chungus' turn. Is no no visit safe? I need a roll, I need a roll. Please, I need a roll. What's that, Chungus? Oh, yeah, you're safe. Sorry. <laughs> no. How much? Yeah, your default. Oh, yeah, the default one. <laughs> Never mind. Here we are. <laughs> I didn't save you. It's alright. It's okay. Uh, and your turn, Chungus. It is not. It is not my turn. Sedge, Sedge. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Fucking thing keeps moving around. My fucking spiritual weapon can't reach it. God damn it. Um, I'm gonna attack it twice then. By the way, Kira, as your weapon stabs into it, you realize that the blood that it's like releasing as the wounds hit kind of looks like water. <laughs> it looks clear, yeah, like clear liquid. Um, very shiny, very shiny, clear liquid. It's a fucking silver liquid. Okay. Should I use it? I I'll use it. Eh. Oh, I can't use it. Well? Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna push the second one. Go for it. So, both damage. Uh, that's 20 damage. Wait, you're gonna push the second one? Yeah. Plus 10. No, that, that's what? my that's my challenge divinity. Guided strike. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, that hits. No, I, I, I can only use it once though, don't worry. Nah, that's fine, that's still crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's so that's 20 damage, yeah. 20 points of damage, alright, cool. It's beginning to look quite hurt. Alright. Wait, so what? I could have just passed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that your turn? Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna roll Bless for fun, you know. Just wanna show off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> alright. What is your turn? Uh, finishing your turn, I imagine you've already saved, right? Yep. So fine. Finishing your turn, it will now be top of the round. Sicily is down. Top of the morning. Oh, rather, the Howler is going to make an attack on you. It's going to be two core attacks. On who? Me. On one of them has a natural 20. <laughs> Adios, boys. <laughs> Wait, on you? That bitch me. What bitch me are yet? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for Jacob to tell him. It's fight attack. I, I imagine you're probably gonna go down. Yeah, <laughs> I'm probably gonna go down. No, no, no. Hit me! Yeah, Hit me! Gonna be, wait, hold on. It's gonna be 18 points <laughs> piercing damage. It's the uh, that's not an exit, so I won't get massive damage. You're still up? 
I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> let me, let me just, uh, do you guys, do you guys see this? Uh, do you guys see Too this? Right. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, I see. You are not. Uh, the other one, the other hit will miss, so you don't do any damage. Add a attack. So I got if you die. Um, all right. That concludes the creature's turn. More Kaya's it is your turn. The creature is looking quite damaged. It's taking quite a lot of wear tears. Dear God, if I. Uh, is the creature engaged with Kira right now? Yeah. Oh, what's well, engaged with Jungle? Let's well, just follow. So if I attack right now, do I get advantage? It's dim light, so you will get advantage either way. Right? Yes. So, so first for one, two, three, no. Oh, Alright, ready for. One hell of a side. First one is 15, second is 13, uh, plus 6, 21, that hits. That hits. Better. Second attack, 4, and uh, 19. Without modif- wait, wait, Four. No, no. So okay, sorry, I, I, get, I get no modifiers, right? No second one is, second. Second, second one does not hit. Uh, plus 1d4. Oh, you get plus 1d4! If it helps. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> wait, it's concentration, man. Right? Don't have any d4s. Oh, wait, yeah, it does! Uh, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off. my best is off, my best is off. I bet, I bet, I bet. Oh. Alright, that's a good one, doesn't hit. So, what's the damage? Oh, Sedge. Oh, Tanny, you're screwed, bro. Are you still fighting? Yeah, I'm still fighting. Oh, no. I cannot... No, dude, uh, my 13. modifier is zero. Oh, no! It's a base roll. Wait, wait, wait. 13 points of psychic damage. Okay, guys, cool. I'm standing up for this shit. Uh, right. Is that your turn? Papa, bless God. That is my turn. That is your turn. Okay. Including your turn will now be Kira. You are up. This creature is now going to engage. You still have your. However, you are still frightened, so you will disappear. Does anyone have any healing spells to get us up? All I can do is spare the dying. Okay, so you can give oh, it. Okay, once, you kill it once, once you kill it, you can. Yeah. You all really automatically stabilize. Uh, I'm gonna attack again with disadvantage. Yeah, okay. okay. No blessing. In hand. <laughs> Seven misses. Again. <laughs> Ten <laughs> misses. Wow. <laughs> you said that movement in bonus action. <laughs> I can't do anything. Then your turn. <laughs> if it does, then make your wisdom safe. Yeah, that is my turn. Thank you with some saving throw. Try and get out of fighting. Please. Please. Yes! 70! You are now no longer frightened. You can now attack normally on your next turn. Uh, oh my god. That ends your turn. It's now Chunga's turn. Make your first death save. Uh, uh, uh. Um... Okay. Chunkus, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Thank you for that save. Flash breaks to red rod. Flash breaks to red rod. Fuck. Oh, Nitro 20! Oh! Oh! That's two buses. Yes, that's two buses. Alright. Wait, doesn't Nitro 20 or oh, two buses? Yeah, two buses. Two and then one is two fails. Alright. Let's go! I always thought, wait, I always thought level 20 means you come up to one hit point. No. But if you pass all three, you just stabilize, is it? Yes. Yeah. Let's go! That's, that's, sorry, that's the the, the, the... the ring of regeneration. 
Uh, that's 10 minutes. Do I have to keep track? How many uh, rounds? don't worry, you, you will never reach 10 minutes. It's been less than a minute. Yeah, you will never yeah, reach 10 minutes. Yeah, it's only like round 3 or round 4. 10 minutes is 100 rounds. Don't, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So you automatically pass two death saves. Yes. In your mind, as you, your eyes are closing and falling unconscious, you hear the voice in your mind saying, So soon, old friend? Come on. Wait, what? In your mind, Duncan's. That concludes your turn. We're gonna go to Sicily, which is fine, not uh, dying. That ends her turn. Now the creature's turn. Wakaius is gonna make two attacks on you. A natural one and a... Oh my god. 21 hit? 21, 21. 21 hits. Wait, wait. I'm reading the rules. Hold on, let me check the official one. I think if you get a 20, you do get one hit point back. I Don't do? you? I'm pretty sure it's two... If it's... Net one is two fails and if it's well, I'm, net I'm twenty is two passes. You, yeah, you check, check for a check. Uh, okay, from what I remember, rolling a natural to twenty will bring you back consciousness save. with one hit point. If you roll a twenty on the d twenty, you gain one hit point. There we go. So oh, Chungus, you regain a hit point. <laughs> yes. You become conscious. I come back from that dead. So right. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's back in the so fight. Let's go! Wait, do I? So, is it my turn now? No, it's not. That was oh. your turn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, as you, as you are falling to unconsciousness, you hear the words in your mind saying, So soon, old friend? Come on. Oh, that's <gasps> sick. Bro. It comes suddenly with one hit point. I was right, yeah. It was, it was what the fuck? Week. That's. Yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, nice. You about this shit, before. dude. Net 20 fucking uh, sexy, bro. It is quite sexy. <laughs> All right. As you come back to the crate, it is now the howler. Well, I'm calling it a howler, but it's not exactly a howler. This is called Narin, since you all know what the fuck it is. Narin. As Narin makes his attack on you, uh, twenty-one does twenty-one hit. Twenty-one hits. Twenty-one hits. It's going to make its gore attack on you. Oh no! Make a strength saving. Th- I'll use my other DJ. It's a natural one. It's gotta be by far the best yeah. 20 I've ever rolled, bro. Holy shit. Actually, pretty good at 20. Alright. So that, that's a two. That is a fail. You are not prone as you take the damage. Uh, <laughs> um, that'll be. How much? 14 points of damage. Bludgeoning damage. Okay. You're still up, right? Are you still up? I'm still up. I am. Alright, you are not prone, taking the full force of the gore damage. That'll be his turn. Kira, it is now your turn. You are no longer frightened and you have sneak it, as it is still engaged with you. Make your attacks. Attack. Okay, first one. Uh, miss. Second. What'd you get? Two. Okay. Uh, fifteen. Miss also. Sorry. Well. Twenty nine. Hey, You know what? Fuck this. You gonna disengage? Or you stay there? I'm just gonna stay there. Okay, you stay there. Uh, Actually, wait. Hold on. Igbal, you're up, right? Yeah. It's He's you're, after you're me. Doing, He's after flanking. me. No, you're flanking. You can throw all the advantage. Huh? You're flanking. Oh, 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 oh. If I... I don't... I... Cause... Oh, right. Earlier, yeah, but... Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Because okay. you're fighting, let's just say never mind. fine. But for now, you, you, you re-roll with the advantage. No, no, don't re again? You, the the first let's just say the first two rolls you roll was the first attack. So you roll advantage on your next attack. Without the modifiers. So Wait, the first can you one add can you add fifteen can you add your modifiers to fifteen then? Since you are rolling advantage? No, fifteen was with my to hit. 
total was 15. You're adding modifiers for to hit when you're off with your off hit? I'm just not adding the damage modifier. Right? No, you're not supposed to add No, no, modifier. you add your damage, you don't add your to hit modifier. Yeah. And to hit modifier, you don't add. The no. damage and uh, modifier you add. Oh. For off hit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm confused. Sorry. Damage doesn't usually change. Anyways, you, okay, let me just miss it. So you, you, you roll your... Go ahead and roll Can now your off-hand. Can you roll everything? No, you cannot re-roll anything. <laughs> Can I just give you a few rolls. Uh, for your off-hand, then make your off-hand attack now with that one. So I just because you have an advantage on this hit. one, you still get your sneak attack. Yes. Shit, I'm still missing 13. And this is unfortunate. It's alright. At least you don't fight it anymore. So that concludes your turn? Yeah. Alright. Right. Okay, sure. Tungus, it is now your turn. However, before you take your turn, he's going to make a legendary action and attack Kira. Seeing her make helpless swipes, he's going to make a reckless attack on her. With a 1 and a 19. Wow. Okay, so it does hit. So when she comes back, she's going to be taking 13 points of slashing. Including the legendary action, Chungus, it is your turn. What will you do? Chungus? Timber? Timber? My father just gave me mochi, wait. What? My father just gave me mochi, wait. I'm waiting. Oh. Ah, damn. This is nice. Ah, <coughs> um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, alright. I'm gonna cast. Your wounds at level 2. Are you all fine? Yeah, in terms of I'm health? I'm 3 HP. Oh, you are 3 HP. Ah, oh, you might be down. Oh, shit. Yeah, might be down. I don't know. Um, uh, don't worry, I'll, 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 I'll heal myself first, alright? Because if I'm alive, I can still heal you guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. alright, I'm gonna cast uh, Heal Wounds at level 2. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I rolled over. Oh, 10 points is still good. Ah. Uh, yeah, you gained back 10 points. Um. Uh, is my spiritual weapon gone? Because I, I was unconscious. If it's concentration, then yes, it's gone. It's not concentration though. Oh, then let me just still do. Wait, you're not conscious. I mean, it lasts for so one minute. Yeah, no, it, will, it will still be there until you die. Oh, that okay. That's like um, it's it's not gonna reach it though. Five, ten, fifteen, feet. I mean, I can go above Kira. You can yeah. Put it beside her. Boop. Okay. Uh, uh. And attack it. Okay, Kiros. Oh, your roll. Call me, baby. Oh. <laughs> Wait, my, my, my hand is slimy. Wait. Kiros. Does that hit? No. <laughs> Ew. Am I dead? No, that's not hit, I'm sorry. Actually, wait, you're rolling with advantage because you're also flanking. You have flanking rules in this game? Yeah, flanking is real. Okay, sure. What do, you, what do you mean take me for? Flanking. <laughs> that still doesn't hit. That still doesn't <laughs> no, hit. Never mind. Alright, is that complete your turn? Yep. Not too bad of a turn, never mind. Uh, as that concludes your turn, top of the round is now Nareen's turn. Top of the board, right? Now seeing a few of you up. So she, she took 13 for that previous round. She's going to make two attacks, one on Morkaius and one on Kira. Uh, with advantage because you're... Wait, are you not prone? You are, right? Morkaius? I am prone. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a natural 19 to hit. Hits. Uh, no damage. You take 8 points of slashing. I am down. You are down. I'm unconscious. Next hit it's going to make towards Kira. Oh shit, it's my matter. Uh, that's going to be... Do you all know AC? Kira? Yeah. No. No, right? Shit, where is she? I don't know, I'm assuming it's around 14. Same as me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure same as me. It's a 15 to hit, so... 
We'll see. I'm just gonna roll damage in case it hits first, and then we'll check that we find. Oh wow, it does four points of damage. Okay, so hold on. It does four damage for her. Plus the 13 she automatically takes because of previous earlier. 14 will be if this hits. This is a 15 to hit. Look at all these one shits out here. Okay, I think we have to wait for her to come back before we can do the unfortunately. Because this might matter. While waiting, Morkaius, go ahead and roll your death save, your first death save as you are not. It's a fail. That is your first fail death save, alright. Kira! Kira! Maybe hey, she's getting more chill, so. Oh, I hope not. She just said be right back, so she shouldn't be so long, right? You, you can just assume she she's 14. I'm because I'm pretty sure I discussed with her. We she, we no, but she but she is a rogue, so Dex mm -hmm. is a lot higher, and she also Did has she armor. armor. Yeah, so she might actually be able to save. She has she has started leather, so same as me. Yeah, started leather, and she's a rogue, so her Dex is very high. She'll have more to her AC than than all of you. So this will actually matter. So we need to find out where she. Where is she? Um. Uh, and. Uh, Tang? She's back. Hmm? What's your AC? Uh, first things first, you take 13 points of slashing. What? Uh, from a resident action. Do you? Yeah, 13. Okay. Oh god. I'm not, I'm not looking great. Does 15 hit? Yes. Okay, you take 4 points of damage. Ha, ah, GG, I'm down. You're down? I'm also down. Exactly 4. <laughs> okay. I'm and on your turn... Down. And on your turn, Kira, make your first death. I don't have Wait, any... Wait, down? I don't have an AOE spell, man. Wait, I thought we make death saves on the turn after we get down. Yeah, after, after, it's after. After? Okay. Oh, it's, after. it's after, it's after. It's not the same, it's not the yeah, same thing. Yeah, it's after. So after Kira's no, turn, it's mine, right? This is, this is the creature's turn attacking. So after her turn is Morkaius' first turn being down. I'm assuming that you don't take it as save then? Wait, whose turn is it now? Okay, the creature attacked the two of you, Morkaius and Kira. In its attacks, the both of you went down. After after his turn is who? So after Narin's turn is Morkaius' turn. After Morkaius' so turn is Kira's turn. After Morkaius' turn is Kira's turn. So yeah, 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 yeah. So does it down me and Kira on the on each turn? Yes. Yes. Right then on my turn I roll on turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 yeah. Jacob's right. Jacob's right. Jacob's right. Jacob's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that means both both of you do. Wait, can you pass your first steps? Does it? Oh, oh, I, I don't know. I you guys. You need twenty. Be ten, and you get. Just get twenty, man. Easy. Thirteen. Pass. You're thirteen. That's the first. That's your first pass. Your first pass. Sorry. Okay, 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 okay. I don't it's know how you're gonna get out of this. Chungus, it is now your turn. This creature is looking beat. Doesn't need a lot of damage to kill it. What will um, you do? You are flanking with your spiritual weapon, so your attack will get advantage. I can heal both of you. I can get you guys back up. So, what's the, what's the, what's the idea now? Should I attack it? Assuming that I can if, kill it now, or should I it get both of you up? If you don't kill it this turn, you might both die. Exactly, so... So I think we better just heal us. Heal us? Okay, okay. Right, right. Yeah, it's... 5, 10, risk. 15, 20, 25. Um, I can walk through the yes. um, You can walk through. Uh, but isn't that difficult to win? Uh, no. Okay. Um, if you guys get to understand, right, 5 feet is actually very fucking big. Yeah, so you, you can go through, but you can't end on your same thing. Could just like step over uh, me. I will take your take your word for that. No, it's it's part of the, it's part of the rule. That's what I'm saying. I'll take your word for I'll take your yeah. word for it. Um, who wants cure wounds? Who wants healing word? I don't think they had. They can't really respond right now. <laughs> <laughs> they both know. Uh, who who has done the most damage? The boss has messed up. if Tenning can hit, she can deal with some of them. Yeah. Okay then. I uh, think majority. 
Majority of the turns I've been frightened, so I can't even heal. <laughs> I mean, if you want, you can go and heal Cecily and see how much damage she can do. You are gonna talk up. Um, she's a she's a healer, right? You're not. She just cast the kill wounds once. And okay, fuck it. Oh, uh, sure, 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 sure. Um, healing with her kill wounds. Are you serious? Are you actually gonna heal? <laughs> actually heal Cecily? Yeah, she's a she's a healer. Okay, so I'm I'm still down left. No, no, yeah, I cast kill you. Uh, I cast uh, kill wounds at level uh, uh, two uh, duoro. That's a uh, fourteen for you and healing wood at level one. Uh, four. Four. Okay. Four, four, four. Cecily. He gets back to four. They're both up. They're both up. Uh, They're both up. Miss Chin, you get back up to fourteen. Yes. Thank you. You are revived, but you're still pro. You'll have to get up on your on your turn. Okay. She is also still pro. Yeah, but, but all of you are conscious already. However, does that end your turn? Yes, I've used both my actions and bonus actions. Your turn ends. Cecily is going to spend half a moment to get up. She's saying, ah, Thank you. Alright. She's going to cast Cure Wounds at... Oh, it's a touch. Yeah, it's oh, a touch. It's a touch. Half, half yeah. <laughs> See, uh -oh. Get... <laughs> oh, yeah, she can get the one. Um, she is going to... Kill me again! Fuck Malkaius! <laughs> she's gonna see... She's gonna see Kira still prone. She's gonna go to Kira and heal you. It's gonna be a level 1 cure wounds, which is a d8 plus healing, uh, plus modifier, which is 2. You gain 5 hit points. She heals you. Thank you. Should be very, very... She looks at the creature. Though. As the end of her turn, she's, the creature is going to see her get up and run towards, and he's going to use his legendary action to do a howl. No! Uh, stop! Oh, no! Stop, and man! And all of you make a DC 15 wisdom saving. <laughs> Me? No, you don't have to. <laughs> uh, for those you are down, you don't need to. Uh, Am I down as well? You guys, you guys still get blessed. No, 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 uh, Tenny, you're up, you're just poor. So all of us are making a bit You guys still get blessed? No, you don't get best anymore, right? No, no, no I haven't, I haven't cast best yet. Where's the saving throw, right? No, it wasn't taken through. What's the, what's the save? 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 Fifteen. Fifteen. So does that pass or not? Does that pass or not? If I hit it, it pass or not? What, what did, what did you roll? Fifteen. I also got fifteen. I also got fifteen. Is that a pass or not? All three of you, Cecily and the two of you, both, all three got fifteen. Yeah. That's it. Yes. <gasps> the DC was 15. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so all three of you save from being frightened for a whole minute. Oh my god. <gasps> However, at the end of that, it's now top of the round. Narin's turn again. He's gonna make his attacks. There's gonna be two attacks on. He's gonna make a gore attack on Chungus. <laughs> uh, that'll be a. 24 to hit? <laughs> you went after the hospital. The strength saving throw, please. If you will. Oh. Oh, no. Wait, let me, let me prepare something. Uh. Shit. Shit. This. It does 9 points of bludgeoning damage to you. Oh, stop playing ads! <laughs> um, strength saving throw? Yeah. That's a nine. Nine? Alright. You fail. And as a result, you are not pro. You also take nine points of bludgeoning damage for that hit. Did you guys hear that? No, we did not. What is that sound? What? Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? No! Why can't you guys not hear it? Uh, anyways, he's gonna make his next attack on uh, Malkaius. <laughs> because your Malkaius takes advantage. It is a hit, it's an auto crit, you lose... Oh, no, it's not an auto crit, sorry. You lose one death save, Malkaius. Jesus, don't, don't scare me. Don't auto crit. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry. Wait, how much damage to me? Huh? How much damage to me? How much damage to you? Yeah. Oh, uh, 9 points. Oh, okay. Total. 
I mean, two of them. I oh, failed two yeah. death saves. Uh, oh, suit, 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 suit. As long as you don't, as long as he doesn't hit you, you, you should can be you, fine. Can you spare the dying on yourself? No, no, I can spare the dying, but then no, I can, I can, I can heal you. I got some spell slots left. Oh, you, you, you should be fine. You should be fine. That will be. A? Wait, what's your AC, Rose? Um. Fifteen. Sixteen. If I'm down, my mage 16? armor also goes down. Oh right? yeah, it goes down also. Oh. Wait, but it's not concentration. It lasts for eight hours. Oh yeah, it does last for eight hours. Yeah. What's your AC? My AC is sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. It misses. <gasps> you do not lose the death save. And it is your your turn. Go ahead and roll the death save. Oh wait, is it oh, no. wait is this to work? So does this okay? No, it does not. He does not lose the death save for for because it misses. I thought so I'm still, I'm still, I'm just still at one save. Oh, you still at one save. Okay. Oh, well, sorry for assuming. I mean, right. you how <laughs> you can never roll one net one right? So okay, now it's your turn. Go ahead and roll. Got an eleven. That passes. So you have. One fail, one passes, pass. One fail, one pass. One fail, one pass. One pass, one fail. Oh, one, one pass, one fail. Okay. That is your turn, Kira. Now that you are up, fresh and ready for action. What will you do? Make your attacks. Not with advantage, because you're no longer flanking. But you do get sneak attack, because it's engaged. Quite Wait, heavily. How does flanking work? Is he like... Flank means there's someone in front of it attacking it, and then there's somebody behind it attacking. So opposite ah. ends. So the person who's on the opposite side, not the one engaging, Get the opposite side. Of yes. Okay. Understandable. I believe the rules would be as long as you're flanking, both people get advantage. But for my own ruling, flanking will just be the person behind. So. Force. Or tech. Miss. Yeah. Second. Please. I wrote the same number. Miss. Sorry. Two misses. So have your movement, you can't move anywhere, you have a bonus action, but you can't really Actually you can move actually if you want. You can move to the right if you want. If you can go around you can actually flank it, but it's up to you. Uh disengage. And then that's your own flanking's your own rule, right? No no flanking is a D and D rule. But not in five E. It's not. That's what I was worried about bringing up. I think it was from past, past. Many, many, many DMs took it out. Flanking is not in five E. No, I no. heard that it was. Because it's actually kind of bad. It is a, it is a lame rule. But the idea of getting advantage from being behind a creature makes sense. In like hindsight. No, it's kind of bad for the DM. I'm surprised you're, you're implementing it. <laughs> it's good for us, bro. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah <laughs> no, it makes sense because. So suppose I'm engaging with you in the fight, if someone's behind me attacking me, they're gonna get a very good advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. I mean, if it's your it's up to you, it's your game, it's your game. I, then that means it would be a 3.5 rule, but yeah, I'm gonna allow it. I'm gonna allow flanking. Uh, go one more up today. Sorry, I put you, I put you. Yeah, that's where oh. you'll be. The flank. <laughs> okay, that is your turn. It is now... Chungus. Chungus, it is now your turn. Your friend is down. The creature is looking quite beat up. What will you do? Um, cast healing word and see. You are flanking with her, but you won't be getting the advantage. Because uh, it's engaged Okay. Um, I'm just gonna cast healing word or uh, Marcus and say get up. Okay. And I'm gonna use my action to attack using my warhammer. Fuck it up. Haha, <laughs> no! I'm gonna lucky that. 19, 19, 19, let's go, let's go! That just hits. Alright. You raise your warhammer up and you crash it down. Go ahead and roll damage. Seven. One point in the pretty good. Oh, I don't think okay. I've. I love lucky. Holy shit. The no, you creature. have. You hit it twice uh, with your offhand. Who <laughs> with my offhand? <laughs> Somewhere along this, this, long, this long line of damage. Alright. You watch as your warhammer breaks its shoulder and it looks at you in a glass and says, Ah, uh, enough. Is that your turn? Um, that's all. Yeah, my guys has no longer to make... get same choice. Top of the round, it's not gonna make two of its attacks on you. One being Gore. With a natural two, plus 
Nine. That is thirteen to hit. No, sorry, that is uh, eleven to hit. Eleven. No. Eleven misses. It makes its next attack. Another goal attack. The natural seventeen. That should be twenty five to hit. Twenty six hit. I'm assuming twenty six hits. Yeah. No shit. Strength saving throw for me, please. Don't even. I'm just going down. What's your health at? Two. <laughs> oh no. Damage. Well, it doesn't matter. It gets a plus. Uh, no, I want to see. Uh, we have to see if it goes over. It, oh. it shouldn't. It shouldn't. Oh, it shouldn't. Uh, this. Well, I was well, anyways. Uh, yeah, that's just for Nineteen points of damage. Oh God. Doesn't right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you get knocked out. Chungus fall. Again. <laughs> How much did you heal me? Um, for six. You are at six HP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys are you fall right down. <laughs> Wait, as you me. fall down, and you re and the creature looks at Morkaias as Morkaias is being stand up. It's just like, uh, annoying. <sighs> <laughs> That's his turn. <laughs> Morkaias, it is your turn. It's a long ass battle. Oh, guys, I need your opinion on this. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. This is Cindy's gonna take her turn as well. Uh, she's gonna spec spend her last spell slot to cast Cure Wounds again on Malchias. Here. <laughs> it's going to be a d8 plus 2. Oh wow, it's a 7, so you gain 9 points. Chungus curse at her, bro. We, we, were, we were childhood friends, man, come on. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Can't believe we've done this. No, she takes a turn before you get knocked. She sees Morkaias down. She heals you for 9 points, Morkaias. Um, Thank you. As you go down, the Howler takes his 2 attacks on you, Chungus, you go down. Morkaias, it is now your turn. Guys, how do you feel? You're still not prone, by the way. Stand up. Okay. How do you feel if I were to... Put it back inside the keep of Narin, and then we fight it at a later date when we are stronger. Uh, our There's factor, a I, 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 he's very low now. I said, just kill him now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very, very low. He's from what you guys say, he's very, very low now. All right. With two of you, I think you guys can. I've lost both of my shadow swords. Can you just punch him? Yeah, I lost right off. Search. I guess you can't do Eldritch Blast, but it'll be disadvantage. Am I in a whip? Do I get advantage? Oh, yeah, from you're whip. Flanking? Uh, you are not flanking. Wow. It has to be direct opposites. So, like how Chungus and Kira are positioned now. Wait, so the, uh, am I still flanking at this point? Yes, you are. Yeah. Because he's facing towards me. Or us. But you're down, right? Yeah, yeah. He's facing towards some Malkai or something like that. I know, but it just ended his turn as engaged with Chunga. So it's facing in that yeah, direction. And you are also directly my... behind. Oh. oh, okay. He did not take his turn to turn around and engage you. Cast and flick wounds. I, I reach out and what? I just like slap it. <laughs> Let's go! Sorry? What's the save? That's not safe. It's a it's attack save. It's an attack. Okay, make your attack roll. Oh. Natural 20! You touch it. Plus make your critical six. attack. Is it 1d30 or is it 3d10? 3d10. 3d10 plus oh times 2. What's a d30? 30! My god. Natural 30! What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Wait, why okay. did you just roll natural 30? Oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, I rolled really low! What do you roll? You got times 2 because it's a critical hit? Yeah, it's a critical hit. 8 points of damage! Crossing. Is it critical? Yeah, it's a critical. Eight? It's 8 points, that's pathetic! Six, wait, 8 wait, with the crit or 8 without the crit? 8 with the crit. I rolled 4. Um, it's okay, I rolled really low for I got 2 one, one. 
do you add, <laughs> uh, out of curiosity i'm not trying to like like meta already uh, do you have to add your spell no oh, you can't it, it's a spell it's a spell in fact it's a spell got you okay uh never mind it's still just take the a damage still up that, that was a meta that, that was just a question so yeah no i know i just didn't want to ask <laughs> you action you watch as its, its wounds begin to open up and spread out as if it's torn open and more of this clear shining very celestial like blood begins to pour out of the wound does not look happy that you did that and it's going to focus its attention attention on you does that end your turn more guys that doesn't like it's going to make its legendary attack on you Oh shit, I'm not hit. Uh the 16 hit? Yeah. Yes. 16 just hits. Gonna make its go attack on you, make a strength saving throw, please. I love the sound of dice. 15? Yeah. 15 succeeds. Ah! Wait, wait. Ah. Yeah, 15 succeeds. I got 40 plus uh, 1. Oh, so we will take the damage for it, which will be... forty points of damage. 14? Yes. Okay. I'm at 1. Oh my god! <laughs> this battle. Alright. That concludes its legendary action. Kira, it is your turn. You and are it. flanking. Kira, just add it. You and get it. advantage on your attacks, and, and it. you can get it. Fuck it Please. up. Please. like for well, there's like in divinity okay, okay, with okay, Tyrion. Okay, 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 okay. This fucking doing like 900 damage. Twenty two. <laughs> Twenty two hits. I roll for the second one, also, okay. Okay. Err. Uh, Thirteen. Misses. Okay. So However, with your mean. first hit, roll your damage and your sneak attack bonus. Yes, boss. More Kaius, as this creature gnaws at you and you just lose a shit ton of damage. You're so much Aww. in pain. Blood is all over the floor right now. Chungus is down. Aww. From behind uh, this creature, you watch Kira shift thing. back. 13 points of damage. She shifts back and she aims her a dagger in a very open section of my Kira, how do you want to do this? Can I like... Uh... Am I on top of something? Like at a podium? You're slightly higher. You're slightly higher. Jump! Yes, Jump I'm attack! Going to, I'm going to take a few steps back and I'm gonna run and sink two of my daggers at the back. Okay. Oh, this is a motherfucker. Go ahead and make a athletics check with the bun. No, I... That, no, no, I have... Event. I have... Something. I think. I have something. Acrobatics? <laughs> yeah. Uh... Second story work. Climbing no longer costs you extra movement, and when you make a running jump, the distance you cover increases by plus two. Oh no, that's. Oh wait, that doesn't matter. I'm just, okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I thought, we I can thought... check about it. Acrobatic check about it. Let's get right. fine. That's good to know, though. It's a far Wait, okay, um, after this, I have to go. Okay, no worries. Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. Let's go. You, in so much pain, you are worried about death. It's close. Oh. Sicily at four oh. hit points. You at one hit point. Your friend down. You guys have been trading in death for quite a while. As you watch, you see Kira leap above. The creature just barely gets the chance to turn around and take notice of her. You hear the growl. You watch its spikes shift up, almost like in defense, as she comes down. But clearing over the spikes and landing on its neck, you watch two daggers pierce through like that, through its throat. Creature, and it just it's getting blood pulled all over you. As it takes one step, one step, and with Kira controlling its neck, you push forward, tearing the back of its neck open as it falls forward, coming to a close.
that round. I think the music's gonna reach uh, that. Attack on Titan moment. <laughs> I aim for the nip. Aim for the what? <laughs> the nip. Oh, the nip. This is nip. Oh, the oh the nip. Oh, okay. I think you said nip. Okay, I okay, no matter. You said nip. Okay, alright. As that concludes, just that. As that concludes, this round combat. Nice. A moment of silent passes. You guys take in whatever the fuck just happened. No, but why did you pause it? Why you see silence? Okay. No, if you pause this, we won't, we won't play. This was the good from yesterday. <laughs> no, I, I already no, wait, what the, How did you do that? It's just learn the, co just learn the it? commands, man. Okay, I'll, I'll just know it's fine. I, 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 got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right. As, as you all stabilize to zero hit point, or well, to Chungus, you stabilize to zero hit point. Morkaius, in front of you, the dead body of the celestial ancient being, alive for don't know how many years, kept inside this keep for many, many years, at, at least a thousand. However, many years that was on the outside world, you know not, but this creature has been in here for very long. Kira, you walk over to Marcaius as Sicily bends down and gonna cast her very last... Okay, she has one more spell slot, she's gonna use Kira Wounds on... on, uh, Chungus. Which will be... Oh, an 8, nice. Uh, you gain... 10 points of HP as you slowly come back to consciousness, Chunga. <laughs> hey, thanks for the 8 hit points. Alright. Cats are wet, or do you feel gross? <laughs> you slowly come back to consciousness as, along with your two friends as you guys reconvene. The creature now put to rest after many years of being locked up, wherever it was locked up. As you guys reconvene, Marcaius, you look towards the keep of Narin, who was called. And you realize that it is no longer the keep of Narin, but just the If you wish to change its name, you can. Unless you if not, you can keep it as it was. Uh <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> Okay, um You don't necessarily have to. The... The fun dungeon. Okay, make your roll. Well, the fun dungeon? Yes. Sure. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Right. Kaiser's fun dungeon. As this creature falls to its death, Cecily says, Oh, oh my god. Oh. She looks down, and you just look at her for a second, and all three of you just forget your current state of being, as you realize Cecily is just covered in wounds all over her body, just huge gashes of wounds. She, looking at herself, and just passes out, faint floor, completely just unprepared and deserving of sudden, su such a sudden fight. I slept a uh, spell the dying just in case. Oh, she's fine. She just she just fainted. Just, oh, okay. She is not dead, but I. But I mean, sure, you can cast that and stabilize this. <laughs> she's not on zero hit points either. She's at four hit points. She's now on the floor. The three of you reconvene. Step towards one another. Chunkus shoves his spear up his butt and you see it disappear. Oh, what the fuck? No, stop. 
Yeah. <laughs> they start initiative again. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, go. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm kinda tired too. Holy shit. Where are you going? I just go back to sleep. Like, uh, there's nothing else I want to say today. <laughs> Just, 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 just like on the floor, just. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna walk out to Kira. I'm gonna walk out to Kira. I'll say, um, sure. Um, what, what do we do? Her and where do we, where do we ship? Uh, what do we do? Where do we ship? Um, I'm already tired. Sleep. I'm like banging five pull people her. just now. I you can play at the couch or something. I would say make. I would say make a Constitution saving throws. Me? Yeah. Alright, these 10. Yeah, yeah. Can I sleep on the floor? <laughs> so fail. Timu, you take one point of exhaustion. Okay. The constant dying and coming back and dying. As well as the amount of sex you had today. <laughs> right and after that. Like, this day had a lot. You guys woke up at Danny's. Had the Mr. Ramirez spoke to him. Came back and all this shit happened. With the sex and all and everything. There's a one hell of a spelling, by the way. S I C I L Y. How you spell her name? That's how I assume how you spell Cecily. That, that's that's an that, accurate that, spelling. Cookie lies. That is how Cecily is spelled. Cecily. Or Cecily's. Drag her body, fam. Okay, you put her body up to the cushion. <laughs> put up on the cushions, and she slowly like like just nods awake. And... Are you okay? Feeling your white fur. Uh, wait. I'm unconscious. Can it? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. So she healed me. Never mind. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, wait. Uh, she placed her on the cushion. She looks at you. She put a hand on your, on your fur and says, Are you okay? Uh, f I'm fine. I did my best. Sorry. I know. I, I know you did. I will rest for a while. <laughs> She closes her eyes and she just begins to nod off again. She's cut up pretty bad. But she falls asleep. While well, as you head towards the, the bed areas, the bedroom areas. I saunter towards my dungeon. Alright, so you go back to your dungeon. At the dungeon, what will you do? I just fucking plop in the bed. Okay, you're still wounded and everything, you just lay down and doze off. Yeah. Two of you, as you realize your watches begin to buzz, it's roughly about 7 in the evening. Nightfall is beginning to come into play. You have had a very long and tiring day, but you still have a bit of push in you. Is there anything you want to do before the night closes? Uh, no. No? No. Okay, Chandras? Oh, uh, uh, um, you um... You can just say it, you have to type it down. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, after, after I do that, I'm gonna go down. After I'm gonna ravage through uh, Malkai's um, alcohol uh, store thingy. Yes. From what I remember, I've sorted wines and a bit of whiskey. So you said last time. <laughs> Mainly wine and a bit of whiskey. Yeah, um... Not, not whiskey, it's uh... So what's it called? Brandy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kira, you also move to a bed and you take your rest for the night. Chungus. As you sit down, you... It's a large amount of drinks in the area. You, you know you weigh around a good bottle. Choose a couple of bottles, you take a couple of glasses, pour yourself some drinks to set up for the evening. As you're drinking, you're just thinking about your day, thinking about all that you've heard. You've heard a lot. You heard stories about the what are these called? The uh, the the, uh, the demons. You heard stories about um, what Mister Rios told you. You heard stories about Breaker, all the things that you knew, all the things that you didn't know. 
new information, old information. You've had a long day. And in your old age, you can put up a fight. You can you have a lot of resilience. But right now you're just winding down, trying to process everything that's happened. What happened yesterday, whatever you saw, all of it is coming down to you slowly. <laughs> Make a perception check. Will do. Uh, uh, plus uh, guidance for myself. Uh, okay, about it. Uh, one team. Uh, that's a uh, seventeen. Wait, you're casting guidance? Okay, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> okay. I just, just tell me if you're not playing anymore, it's broken, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll. This, 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 is, this is guidance double, Because you are alone in the, in the floor below all the alcohol is coming. You're drinking, you haven't had too much to drink, it's been about half an hour sitting down. I will say you do take a short rest, so if you want, before I begin, can add some health back. Oh. Are we not going to do a long rest? Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you want to, you can take a short rest while you're having some drinks before you take it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Say, can you say that again? I'm saying you're taking some drinks, right, uh -huh. before you want to take a long rest. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. want to, you can take a short rest. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Before you to go and sleep. If you want. Because okay. if you do, then you can roll to gain back some health. I'm gonna use all my hit die, boy. Let me know. Oh, yeah, that. About an hour goes by. This song, this track is a bit quieter if you raise it up the volume a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can. Fit Sitting down, you have a few drinks. An hour goes by. You begin just gently dozing. And you wake up a little bit, you have another sip, close your eyes again, seated down. Quick flash in your mind. Very quick, almost like, almost like three frames of an image just shown to you for just a split second. And with seventeen, right? Seventeen card. You see yourself, not from your perspective, but from behind. Your a uh, white form kneel down in almost like a a dog-like position bowing towards and right in front of your body right in front of your form there's a small altar and this altar is roughly about this big it's not a big altar it's a little statue of a helmeted warrior with a shield and a very large spear. And this looks like a temple surrounding you. You see small candle around the area. But everything behind this altar is just black, just shadowed in darkness. And you're bowing, you just see yourself bowing towards the altar in this vision. And right before the vision comes to a close, right behind the altar, you see two yellowish white eyes just in the darkness open up, look at you. And then you feel, you feel, not here, you feel the word, my child, spoken to you in your mind. But something breaks this vision. Mm -hmm. 
You hear a shift. Oh my god. You hear a shift. Almost like a chair moving. A small... Like, if someone were to sit down and you hear that small like sound of a chair sh And you <gasps> wake up from this vision. You're not alone in this room. There's someone else in this room with you. What do you do right now? You're sitting down. Not moving you with your glasses, but you're facing the other way. You know that there isn't present in yeah, this, this room. This is house. This is one floor under the main Mokai's room, which is the map you see. Both of them are asleep. Kaya's is in dungeon. Kira is there with Cecilia. Uh, you are one floor under where all the, the drinks are kept. And I feel that someone's here. You feel that there is a presence in this room. With you. Am I drunk? You are not drunk. Uh, a little tired, a little dazed. Maybe a little bit tipsy. You've had a few. <laughs> hey. Maybe a you have a lot more like. I mean, I'm tired also, so. Uh... But you do. Nothing is happening. You just, you just felt that sound. And the vision clears off. And you just feel like you're being looked. You don't know where in this room is somewhere, but there is someone or something that is in this room looking at you. Hey, not bro. attacking, not doing anything. Wait, what are you looking at? What you say? Yeah, I'm saying that. Are you gonna look? Or no? Uh, yeah. Turn around. Roughly in the direction of the corner of the room, where you see. Uh, where, where you know that the, the sound came from. A couple of chairs just shrouded in darkness. You see a shadowed figure, cloak, sitting down, legs are crossed. You see a hood coming, covering over. Make another perception. Aragorn. Yeah, very Aragorn like, <laughs> if you will, if you will. Except a bit darker. Can I cast guidance on it? No, no, you can't. This is a quick perception. Twelve. Twelve is enough. The second you look towards this person, what do you see again? Hey, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Yeah. As you look towards this person sitting there. The same eyes that you saw in your vision. This yellowish. These two eyes. You can see them within the. Except now, you see two black slits in the middle of these eyes. Almost like a, almost like snake eyes. You also look with that twelve is enough to see. The eyes look like they're on fire, just a little bit, glowing with a bit of flame, like a little flicker. On the sides. And that's all you see within the dark hood. You hear this person clear his throat. You hear. <coughs> Then you hear. Just looking at you. Can I make out any. Oh, wait, you can't, you can't. No, no, that's what you said. Oh, that's what you said? Uh, can I make out a shape? What race is he? How tall is he? What is he? Make an intelligence check. Just base intelligence. I've not got intelligence. Oh, damn. Not bad. It's a humanoid shape, either human, could be elf, half elf, you can't really tell, but it's kind of like a human like shape. Very similar to like Mokaias' set, like body set. I see. But it's not Mokaias. He just sits there, just staring at you, direction. Mokaias, is that you? I assume you hear the words. I assume Mokaius is your 
boyfriend. Companion. It's fast asleep upstairs. You're not Malchaius? Do I look like Malchaius? You see, you see, you see, like shadowy figure, or is he clear? Can I see him clearly? I can't see him clearly. He's very shadowed. Okay, the yeah, that, that, that's why I'm assuming so. Yeah. And his hood is also covering most of his body, so you only see his form, like his shape of his body, like a silhouette. Also, at this at this time of the evening, uh, to save energy, I wouldn't have many lights. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because the cellar wasn't like properly lit. Today. Yeah. Uh. He is there just quietly staring at you. I cast light on my warhammer and I raise my warhammer to, you know, light the room. Do I see anything else? Range? To me? I mean, I have dark vision. Why am I using light? I, I, I don't know. I'm just using uh, I mean, the range. You can, you can. 20 you, feet. I'll, 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 I'll allow it. 20 feet. Oh, he's about He's about 25, but that light will still sort of like, like shade off the the corners of the room that's dark. <laughs> Changing from like dark to dim. As your Warhammer lights up, this gently, gently uh, glows with divine energy. You sort of raise it up towards him. And as you do, you see a half-elf face. Clear of complexion. Very simple, thin face with a sharp chin. The eyes of this person are bluish. But as you lift it up, for a second you see those slit eyes. And as you lift it up again a bit higher, then you get to see a clear amount of his face changes to like blue, very calm, relaxed. You notice he's sitting down like that with his hand stretched out, and in his hand he's holding a glaive. A glaive? A glaive, like a oh, long okay. spear at the end yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Is, um, yeah, yeah right. He says, You're the replacement, aren't you? Wait. Wait, is, is this who I think it is? Who do you think it is? Maybe you see half elf now, why not? It's not. But you see blue though. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna put it aside first. Yeah, I'm, I'm the replacement. Why? why? Why does it continue? Well, I mean, I refused it. I would imagine they would have chosen someone else. He twists the glaive in his hand. Why well, you got something against the back here, huh? Huh? It's quietly sh shakes his For a brief second, a brief second. Make a perception check. <laughs> Let's say DC 15. I am not going to get that. Oh, no mind. Yeah. Very brief second, you hear, just very quietly, you hear the words, Useless. You hear him clear his throat again. I'll be in touch. Watch yourself. Watch your team. There was a lot that's yet to happen. And he just stands up. Roughly about five and a half, six feet tall. Grabs his glaive. Which you now notice has a very small bluish tint. And he just begins walking towards the door. What do you do? Watch again, door. 
as a final word, I'm just gonna ask, uh, who are you? He stops. Roll a persuasion check. Damn, okay. Guidance? No. Takes a moment to cast her. <laughs> he stops. And he says... Just a bad dream. And he just walks up. You then hear this as he exits. And you can hear him, like, the footsteps walking towards the fire escape. You get up, you walk towards the door, you look towards the fire escape. And in the darkness of that long hall, all the way to the end where the, where the, the, where the window is, where he, you get out to go to the fire escape. You see the same figure walking there, but... You watch it just grow in size, very, very slightly, just shift. You hear this very deep growling sound. You watch its hands grow larger. You see it grab on to the fire escape railing and you watch it just jump over in silent. It's left in the hallway, it's alone, confused. It's in my pants. As your night comes to a close, you go back to lay down. Taking a while to process, but after some time, you just go eventually to go and take your rest. I'm gonna write the information down on a parchment paper. Then I will sleep. Yeah. You go to bed just thinking about the, the vision that you had of your the altar of Ares, eyes behind it. Then meeting this strange fellow. As your night comes to a close and you fall asleep, Malkaians, you are met with a dream. As well as Kira. For Kira, you have a very small nightmare. Mm. You have visions of the wheel that Mr. Ramirez showed. Except a bit more materialized, a bit more real looking. Made of wood. Splintered wood, you see chains going around. You see it turning. You don't see anything around it because you don't know what that would look like, but you know what the wheel looks like from the drawing. As your eyes go closer towards this wheel, you see Isabella pushing it. And your dream ends with Isabella looking towards it. Tears in her. So that's all the nightmares that visit you at night. That's for more kindness. In your troubled sleep, as your wounds try to heal, the exhaustion and the weight of whatever happened this day, as well as the loss of horrible things that happened the previous day, weigh down on your back. You hear the words enter first in your mind. <sighs> You look so beautiful when you rest. So gentle. So delicate. Innocent. Sleep. Sleep in peace. <sighs> and your eyes open up in a dream. And surrounding you is just. You are in like a one foot deep pool of blood. Raise your hand. Hands struggle to come up. Blood. Of cold, drying, clotting blood. As you raise your hand, you notice that it's hard to get your hands from within this pool because of how it's clotting. You sort of come out caked in this cover of blood. Like just your whole body just covered in this clotting blood. Almost like strings of what looks like tissue from within the pool. Sticking to your arms and hands as you 
stretch up. And surrounding you, for miles and miles and miles, is just this long ocean-like blood, full of body parts. Pieces of legs, hair, heads, bones, gore, everywhere. Is this is what you asked of me? And you wake up. <laughs> and that's where we're gonna end. For today, at least. So as long as you do get a long rest. That's the end of the campaign. <laughs> end stream? Um, end stream. And killing Nareen, as well as what you found over Mr. Amuse. Previous two, I'd say that's a milestone. <gasps> Let's go! Level 5! Let's go! You take your long rest, and you level up. Nice. I kinda wanted to talk to Nari while we killed him. I disconnected, I think it's disconnected, sorry, hold on. Uh, that was the point actually, I wanted to fucking just... break him out, I did talk to him. I'm so sorry. Whatever you got. I wanted to interrogate Nari, he seems like a very interesting character. He yeah. is dead. Uh, unless, you, unless you remember sure. five, but um, I'm just gonna end it's, it's too late for them. Yeah, you can end the stream. Yeah. We will see each other.